Good evening, everybody. It's Carla. It is Friday, and it is a uh, rainy, kind of drizzly day here in Alabama, very hot and humid. But I've been spending some time lately in my evenings and free time working on making different socks. Um, I've gotten the ideas off of YouTube videos, and I've been watching different instructions for making different kinds of toes, uh, different kinds of heels, methods for making socks. And I just wanted to share my four latest ones that I've used. I've used a, um, I think this is a 24 uh, peg nifty knitter loom. And you can get these at um, different craft and hobby stores. And so this made actually a larger, like a house slipper type of sock right here. And then this is a Cindy Wood, C-I-N-D-W-O. O D uh, 56 stitch quarter uh, inch loom but I actually made this thicker sock on it by wrapping around every other peg so I actually had um, 28 stitches that I worked on and it made a finer gauge sock but it's more like a chunky sock you know none of these are like uh, like slacks, socks, or something very, very fine. I used the yarns that I had on hand, and I got a different um, result here on this finer gauge loom, even uh, looming every other peg than I did whenever I used this one. Now, this one used two strands of yarn, and I'll go over the yarn here in a minute with you, but I just wanted to show you an overview first. And, of course, there's my looming tool right here, the little pick. And I put a, um, like you put over a pen or a pencil, uh, you know, just kind of slide it over to protect your fingers. And they sell those in Dollar Tree and school supply sections. And I scooted it over my tool and it made it a lot more comfortable in my hand. Um, this one I made uh, last week and I used a 40 inch chow goo needle and a circular needle and I um, did the magic loop method for this one. This was a, um, I think a toe-up sock. I'm trying to remember. I don't know. I've been doing too many. <laughs> and um, then this one I did with a vintage 11-inch circular needle. And I think this was by Susan Bates, if I'm not mistaken. And I found these on uh, eBay. Now, they sell 9-inch chowgoos and 9-inch by other makers. But those are just too small for my hands to work with. I have crippling arthritis in my hands, so I can't really use something that small and fiddly. But these 11-inch vintage ones I was able to do, and I got my hands on a few pairs of those, so I'm very thankful for that. And these are cuff-down socks, and they've got um, 12 rows of ribbing up here, and then the, the uh, leg portion. It's got the heel, and instead of doing the stockinette stitch heel, I do a garter stitch, and it gives it more uh, body. It gives you more protection, I believe, for the heel, and I think it will wear longer for me. And then I did a barn toe um, cast off here, so it made a nice rounded toe. So I'll just kind of tell you about the yarns. Most of the yarn in my stash is what I can afford what I've found at the thrift stores and what I've accumulated that way or that I've bought on sale like at Walmart or Hobby Lobby when they've had a sale and it's acrylic because it's the least expensive and that's the one I'm able to get. Now I do have a little bit of sock yarn that is a uh, wool blend. I have some 100% wool vintage yarn that I've gotten off a couple times on eBay or at a flea market but almost everything I have is acrylic yarn and I've watched enough videos on YouTube that people are very purist in wanting to make socks pretty much only out of wool nylon blends and um, that's fine and these beautiful hand dyed indie dyer yarns but they're also very expensive a hank of yarn from an indie dyer can be 24 to 32 dollars and if you're on a fixed income like I am you just can't do that so I've decided to just use what I have on hand and make uh, a variety of socks for myself. Um, now, in my last sock video, I had mentioned I made a pair for my son that'll be like a house sock for the winter time, and he really likes it. 
and he said they fit perfect so I hadn't he hadn't tried them on the last time when I mentioned them and he has tried them on since and he really likes it but I'm mainly <clears throat> excuse me making socks for myself so I'm just having the fun of experimenting with them so on this one I used two strands of worsted weight yarn and this 32 I mean sorry 24 uh, peg loom I think it's 24 and um, I just uh, did an e-wrap all the way around it and I did a uh, short row heel and I did a Kitchener cast off for the toe or basically another short row heel and the way that it finishes off with the Kitchener stitches across the loom uh, it comes into a drawstring that you just pull gently across it and it cinches up the toe and then you just have to weave the ends in you don't have to try to um, you know by sight uh, pull these stitches together and sew them with a um, tapestry needle so I've I like this a lot because my vision's not the best and my hands bother me and so um, something like this is just a fun project and it's very uh, low demand and low stress on any issues that I may have with my hands and fingers now this one is a single strand of acrylic yarn it's a fluffy it's got kind of a halo effect to it and it's very um, easy on the hands it's very uh, easy to work with and it all these are like number four weight yarns so they're not finer weight yarns and this one I made on this 56 um, peg Cindy Wood loom but I wrapped every other peg and I got this very fine compared to this one which is a double thickness and on a bigger loom I got a very fine um, fabric made on this Cindy Wood loom and uh, this one again is, you know you start it from the cuff area and I didn't on either of these I didn't do a ribbing you know like a knit to purl to kind of thing I just let it naturally roll over itself and uh, I like that it it fits me very well again I did this um, short row heel and I did the same kind of a toe where I just draw stringed it across and then weave the ends in when I'm done and it's very very nice I love these very comfortable these are great for padding around the house and these actually can be worn with shoes come winter time fall time great for working out in the yard or raking leaves or you know just uh, on a colder day when you want some protection for your feet and I think they turned out really well this pair I uh, finished a week or so ago and I just worked on them when I could it's with the um, 40 inch chow goo uh, circular needle and I did the magic loop and that took me a while to learn how to do but uh, yeah I enjoyed making these and it's just got a shaped heel it's got the two by two ribbing at the top it has a um, barn toe at the bottom and I'll explain that one here in a minute because I use that to make these pretty red socks too and uh, I just used some uh, yarn acrylic yarn but that had some wool blended into it and so they're um, a finer weight with this size 2 chow goo needle and um, the stitching is a lot finer and but it's still a nice dense fabric and it's going to be really warm to wear and then these were the ones I finished today they're made with Red Heart Gumdrop yarn and, that I purchased off of eBay and this color I'm not sure what it is um, but it's real pretty primary colors it's red and it's got orange yellow green and blue in the mix and it comes out a nice little pattern all through and I used an 11 inch vintage I think it was by Susan Bates um, circular needle now I haven't been able to find 11 inches anymore I think these are just vintage sizes and you might have some in your stash but um, mostly now they sell the 9 inch and 9 inch is just too much for my hands to deal with so 11 inch is perfect and um, the only time when it gets a little tight was down here where I dropped the stitches from um, 20 on each side to make the toe down to um, 10 on each side 
and there it got a little bit tight to you know tight quarters to finish off but it, it worked fine but talk about going fast around your leg portion the ribbing goes by super fast heels super fast and the the feet part are really really fast to complete too so I love these little 11 inch needles and um, this one was made with a size 4 because it was with a um, worsted weight yarn on this one though I uh, made it with a size 4 with 40 stitches of worsted weight and um, yeah so it just come out very fine it's kind of even a little finer this one is than this one that I made on the loom so um, they're both very very nice now a lot of people the purists on uh, YouTube that I watch their sock making videos they wouldn't even dream of using acrylic yarn they say well it doesn't breathe and it doesn't this but if you're not going to wear them all day if you're just going to throw them on to go outside and do a chore or cover your feet when you've got a you know in the fall and winter when the floors might be a little chilly or on an exceptionally cold night where you want to um, you know even put them on to sleep in these kind are fine and uh, I don't um, I'm not that you know uh, biased against using acrylic yarn and plus it's affordable so I don't know if everybody's in the position I am but I am on a fixed income and I have to make do with what I can find and most of what I find is at the thrift store or purchased on sale from like my local Hobby Lobby or a Walmart and so I make do with what I have and I'm having the enjoyment of making socks you know even um, a year ago I couldn't have imagined making socks I was very daunted thought it was something I could never do and now I've made quite a few pairs and I'm just having a lot of fun doing it and I found a formula that works for me and I think the best one I like is um, with this garter stitch heel which gives extra cushioning and I think wears longer and then I barn uh, toe and you can look barn toe b-a-r-n toe up on uh, YouTube and see how to make that and um, just simple two by two ribbing at the top and stockinette stitch for the rest of the, the um, foot and leg of the sock and they come out I can make one pair in about um, working on it off and on over two days so I've been having a lot of fun now the loom knitting one goes a wee bit slower just because there's I think more steps to it and um, but it's very enjoyable to do the loom knitting and especially if you can want to watch a movie or something and your or a TV program and you want to be able to look up and not lose your place and stuff I think loom knitting is very nice so I just wanted to share that in case you've ever had a desire to make socks and I am in no way a um, expert at this I've just learned it and I've learned a lot from watching on YouTube and I just encourage you to step out of your comfort zone and try it for yourself there's also videos that show how to make socks on two straight needles and then you just make a seam on the inside and you close up the entire sock it's made in one flat piece and some people make beautiful socks that way so that's another option you can have to make socks you can also make tube socks where you don't have to put any heel in and with a simple drawstring toe and those are really nice socks too so try your um, try your hand at making socks and see if you don't find something that's uh, very affordable very um, little time spent doing it and you can have a lot of fun and creativity with it so I hope you like these and I'm especially proud of this pair just because they're very pretty I think they're just like super pretty and then this pair because they're just very cushy and comfy so thank you all for watching and I hope you like this video and I hope you try sock making for yourself oh and I've also crocheted a couple pair of socks and uh, they don't give as fine a fabric, but I think it's more if you pick the right yarn to do it, a really soft acrylic or a soft acrylic blend, then I think you would get a the result you want, even with crochet socks. But they're a little bit different, and I still like the knitted socks the best. So I just wanted to show you what I've been making, and I hope you all have a great weekend ahead. Take care. Bye.